healing, salvation, and happiness. It's your season. It's your time. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us and learn how God's love and power can bring hope and happiness to your life. This is your opportunity for motivation, encouragement, and purpose. Welcome, church family. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network, where we bring you the Lord's Word every day from some of the country's most inspiring churches and pastors. And today is no different. Let's check out one of the newest members of the Daily Gospel Network. We want to share with you, yeah, in your family, family. the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God with one touch in the streets. We're touching hearts and changing lives with oh, one touch ministries. We're here for you. Come to church with me, but I'm going to ask you to receive God into your heart. Confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that Jesus was risen from the dead. There that are preaching false gospel. There's a lot of people out there that are preaching uh, things that are not biblical, and that's why the thing is that we cannot persecute our brothers and sisters. It's in the Bible that we're uh, uh, fighting not against flesh and blood, but principalities, and that we cannot see it. Principalities of darkness, and we got to understand something. Sandra, can I turn here? Then all of a sudden, you find out there was an accident down there. That's why he told you to turn there. See, it's very, very important. To have that relationship and know the Lord's voice. He's the best GPS you can ever have. My enemies, I can't stay in the valley because the God said I'm going to prepare a table in the presence of your enemy. I gotta come out of the valley so I can see the haters sitting at the table watching me eat. So I can see the haters and the enemies watching me be blessed. For you to stand in the face of the adversary and they're having a staring match between the lions looking at Daniel and Daniel's looking at the lion my first reason why I feel like the lion didn't want to eat Daniel is because Daniel is a man of character a man of integrity he's a man that's consistent he's a man full of God and God is in Daniel. God may not restrain it but he'll sustain you in it Look at somebody say, neighbor, I'm only standing with a praise in my mouth. Come on, with a dance in my feet because God sustained me. Hallelujah. You don't see the pressure. Come on, you don't see the problems. You don't see the pain. But the reason I got a praise is because even though that he didn't restrain it, he sustained me in it. See, so don't judge people by their praise. Come on. Some of you are afraid to shout because you're afraid of what people may say about you. But baby, if they only knew your pain, they would understand your praise.
the goodness of Jesus. How it could have been something else. Uh, woo, Lord. To only you, God. To only you, God. I'm going to give you the praise. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Let's give God a hand clap right there. Come on. Come on, let's give God a hand clap right there. Come on, let's give God a hand clap right there. Y'all can do better than that. Come on. Come on, let's give God a hand clap. Come on, let's give God a hand clap. Hallelujah. Because he's worthy. Because he's worthy. Y'all can keep clapping. Because he's worthy. Because he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. God bless you. Oh, go and go pay the price for uh, the sins of the world. And so the Bible says that in Romans 6 and 23, it says, for the wages of sin is death for the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And so years go by now, 33, now Jesus is 33 years on the earth now. Now he's hanging on the cross. And I just imagine in my mind, you know, I knew that this time was coming, but I really can't believe this happening. Just a week ago, y'all was just celebrating the Hosanna in the Heights. Mm -hmm. That's right. I was just yeah. celebrating the Hosanna. Yeah, I don't have no microphone. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, keep going. Oh, okay, praise God. And so, uh, he said just a week ago, Hosanna in the Heights. And I just truly believe that, you know, he was speaking that in his head. And, you know, and so now Jesus is like, wow, here it is. I'm dying on the cross. You see, our sins couldn't pay the debt that was owed. Mm -hmm. Our sins that we couldn't, that, that we actually owe God, Come on. we couldn't pay it. That's it. We as humanity owe the price we cannot pay because anytime sin, uh, anytime that there's sin, there's blood that is shed and our blood is not clean enough to be able to wash away the sins of the world. And because we're dirty, we're filthy, we spotted, we're wrinkled. And the Bible says that Jesus is coming back to a church without spots and without wrinkles. And so here it is now Jesus is thinking, wow, man, you know, so much hurt, so much pain, so much anguish is going on through his body and, and you know, fluids is leaking out of him. And so, in that moment, Jesus said a powerful, powerful word that actually shook the world. Because remember, any, when, when, when God, when he, uh, when sin is committed, blood has to be shed. Right. Sin is committed, blood has to be shed. God cannot look on the face of sin so when God was looking down at us, right. he actually had his back turned on us because he can't look at it. Mm -hmm. And so the blood of the lambs, the goats, and the ram, all that kind of stuff, it only covers so that he can look at you. Come on, yeah. But Jesus said, I'm here to wash, wash. the sins away. Amen. Again, I want you to just imagine Jesus right there on that cross. And saying something so powerful. The word that he said that was so powerful in the Greek, it is to telestai. To telestai is the word that means uh, that to bring to an end, to complete, to accomplish. It is a critical word because it signifies and it satisfies the end of a particular action. In the word you will see, uh, when this is the word that was used. If you were to climb Mount Everest, you'll say to telestai. You'll say uh, to telestai when you pay off your car loan. You'll say to telestai yeah. when you uh, uh, pay your bill, when you pay your rent, or when you're paying off your mortgage. You say to telestai because you say it's finally finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To telestai. <laughs> so when Jesus cried out, it is finished. It is more than this him just reaching a goal. 
He is more than even just weeks ago. Remember, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So we owe this to him. And so when Jesus said to Palestine, he said, I've already paid it in full for you. If you look back in the old scriptures, if you look back at old times, the uh, the, men, the people of old would have tax receipts in the bottom of their right to tell us by. If you saw a long contract at the bottom of them, their right to tell us by. And so there are certain things in your life that God is saying to you right now that you need to write to tell us by in there. And so it is finish. So let me say this, not only did Jesus complete what he said that he was doing, but to tell us that also means that he completed it then, he's completed it now, and he's going to continue to complete it in the future. So not only are you saved now, not only did he finish it then, but he said he's finishing some stuff for you right now. There's some things that he's finishing in the future. And so then if there's something that's going on in your life, you need to be able to say, to tell us that, because it is finished. So I want you to note this fact right here as I get ready to leave because notice that Jesus didn't say that I am finished. He didn't say that I, he said it is finished. And so uh, that implies that if he said that I was finished, that means I have made it to a certain mark that I can't go no further than this. He, it actually means that he was defeated. It actually means that he was exhausted. It actually means that there was no more for him. But rather, when he cried out, it is finished, it means I successfully completed the thing that I came to do. And so Jesus was more than just a survivor. I know that some of you love those prophets that says, I am a survivor. I won't give up. I'm not going to stop now. I am a survivor. Jesus said, I'm more than a survivor, but I'm going to keep on surviving. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so, I just came by here to First Baptist Church to tell you tonight that you have, that you have to proclaim from Telestine because it is finished. Come on, say it with me. Say, it is finished. Oh, you have to believe that it is finished. It is done. That thing that God had called for you to do, he said, I need you to finish it. That book that he said that you need to write, he said, it is finished. He said, that pain that you had in your life, he said, it is finished. That woman that walked out on you, he said, it is finished. That man that abused you, John God said, it is finished. It is finished. You have to proclaim to the telestine in your life. Right now, in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. And I'm here to tell you on today that some walls are falling down for you. Walls of oppression, walls of doubt, walls of anxiety, walls of lust, walls of hate are falling down right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody say the word. You should give him the glory and praise. Give him the honor. Don't allow fear to grip you. Don't allow fear to grip your heart. Because God has been wonderful. There's an old song that says so many wonderful things about Jesus. There's so many wonderful things about him. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. He is a mighty counselor. He is a prince of peace. He's the everlasting father. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, God has been wonderful. He's been good to me. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. It seems like that times have been hard and times have been rough, but we've been made and for a night. Joy comes in the morning. I know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can ever ask or think. So I thank God that He's doing it. I thank God He's able to do it for me. I thank Him. Only God can do it. Only He can make a way. Father God, with the outstretched arms, 
on today's Spotlight Church, visit them on the internet and follow them on social media. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network. And until next time, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. <laughs>